hi welcome again to my channel stella bliss here with you and i am very excited so excited to be talking to you about this because it's something that applies to everybody the only thing is some of us manage it more than others and some of us you know do understand how to keep it in control and this is um how to avoid bad days how to avoid a bad day now this does not mean that you know the external will not happen which we almost like make your day feel it's bad but you're in total control and i have here three points um, um to draw my 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 message the how to you know the how to avoid bad days and and again like i've always said in all my postings that my talks stems from my experience the hands-on experience that i still a place have had it's not what i've read it's not what i've you know and it's mostly in fact i'll say 90 95 percent of what i have experienced or what people close to me have experienced and how we've overcome or how i have overcome or how i gave up if that's the case or how i went back to the drawing board to start all over again so talking to you about how to avoid bad days i'm talking to you from my own experience and there are three points there are much much more but i'll just speak on three points that i have used that have assisted me to kind of reduce the um the bad in a day or sometimes not even having a, a bad day you know or turning what is supposed to be a bad day into something that oh wow I'm like oh wow this turned out nice so here we go three points number one is you start small you see one of the things that i've realized from experience that makes one or rather that makes me have a bad day is when I'm lying on my bed and I'm thinking, oh my God, I have so, so much to do. And bigger than, you know, you know, sometimes we imagine things that we think, how are we ever going to get over with this? Or how are we going to accomplish this? So one of the ways that I've, I've, I've um, one of the points or rather one of the strategies I've applied is breaking down whatever I have to do in small bits. Starting small, a step at a time. No matter how small, even if it's like snail speed at the beginning of the day to whatever I need to do. But starting small, that way I'm not overwhelmed. So the first point is you start small. The second point is no judging. Don't judge yourself don't think of judging anyone else because when you start your day you are lying or you're sitting on your own and you're thinking yes i haven't done this i'm so lazy i'm so da 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 or maybe not you somebody else oh my god this person didn't even return my call from yesterday and this da 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 and i can see that mm, 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 that is judging now it takes a lot of discipline takes a lot of discipline takes a lot of time takes a lot of training yourself your mindset to be able to get to the point where you don't start off your day judging um anyone because once you start off your day judging i have been there i have done it when i start off you know before i even you know have my cup of tea or coffee or whatever i've joined da, 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 da. that day is like ruined when i'm in ruined i have i have experienced this so i went back to the drawing board and said what was it that i did that actually because eventually i get to see that certain things that happened that day are not bad so where did i go wrong how did it all come to this end how did it all start off and then when i check and see i see that i started wrongly judging 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 the slightest thing judging 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 so i decided how to avoid a bad day i must avoid judging at all costs it's a tough one but i must avoid judging in fact I, i'm some sometimes in a situation that i'm like sitting somewhere 
you know those of you who have been following me will probably know a bit more about what i do when i go to offices or when i go to an organization or when i go, i have an appointment to speak to somebody or present to a group of persons and we're given time uh, maybe we were told to come by two or told to come by four or five or six and you end up sitting and waiting for hours upon hours and upon hours and nobody actually really cares to say oh sorry for waiting sorry that we kept you waiting yeah in some part of the world that is done but where i am that is not done you know so but one of the things i've started doing is i tend not to judge I enjoy the wait and while waiting there are other people waiting there I get myself acquainted with them we start chatting we discuss politics and discuss also and I've actually made some friends from all these waiting 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 and now waiting hours you know to do this so number one is starting small whatever you have to do break it down number two so you're not overwhelmed number two is don't judge try to judge less if you used to judge or if you judge a lot like i used to reduce it and you will see that your day your day you will you kind of reduce having a bad day and the final one is be in the moment and being in the moment involves you being grateful because one of the things one of and probably i'll probably say the biggest of things that makes us all kind of sometimes have a bad day have a, you know without even getting out of the house you have a bad day why because you're thinking from yesterday what ought to have been that hasn't or you're thinking from tomorrow and that's why i say being in the moment because when you're in the moment you're grateful to god you are awake you're hale and healthy nobody you know close circle did you get news that is dead i mean i tell you this is my secret this is one of because i've been asked a few times how do i do it that i i am oh you're happy all the time yes because i have worked myself to that point you know as we speak the whole of 2020 and a bit of the ending bit of 2019 not a dime for all the work i did but i have worked my mindset in the sense that i tell myself that there are some people who had all this money and all this and they are nowhere they're not alive anymore and so i am alive the gift of life i know i can never be hungry because by the time i go to one two three four people i'll get something to eat if there are things I have to pay for that I haven't been able to pay for, I speak to the people. And that's one of the things I think, I don't know if I've put out that post yet, yet that I said it's not a crime to owe. I'm not sure I've put that out yet. So it's a different posting, but yeah. So gratitude. And you can tie these three points together. Starting small. So you, you are about to start off for the day. And instead of thinking of the big tax ahead of you which will actually knock you down and make you feel you know like and then you get irritated break it down in small chunks you know break it down in small chunks and then the second one don't judge when you reduce judging because I, like i said I, I kind of could get up and say you didn't do this you didn't do that da, da, da. before you know the whole day i have i'm just going to have a bad day because i started wrongly so less judgmental on people on situation and everything and then the last one is gratitude being in the moment and we all can be in the moment because there's there's always something to talk thank god for the present moment we find ourselves so thank you so much again for watching i am looking forward to people um commenting giving me a thumbs up sharing let's do this together sharing and then telling these people you share with to turn on the notification bell so that whenever i put out my postings which is mondays wednesdays and fridays they will automatically get my post 
Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next clip. Bye-bye.